In Chapter 11, we will investigate the process of protein translation. In this first section, we will review the major features of translation before we get into the details. First, prokaryotic and eukaryotic translation differ in their timing and location. In prokaryotic systems, we learned in Chapter 10 that transcription and translation are coupled as there is no spatial separation between the genomic DNA and the ribosomal machinery. There is also very little to no post-transcriptional modification of the messenger RNA in prokaryotes. Whereas in eukaryotes, the messenger RNA is extensively modified following transcription. It then has to be translocated into the cytoplasm prior to translation at the ribosomes. Recall that you have also learned that the peptide bond is formed by dehydration synthesis. With the loss of the hydroxyl group from the carboxylic acid functional group and the hydrogen from the amine functional group, this leads to the formation of the amide bond. In vivo, we will see to get this reaction to go in the forward direction, it requires activation of the amino acid and quite a bit of energy in the form of ATP. Mechanically, the reaction is facilitated by transfer RNA and the ribosomal RNA. The messenger RNA holds the code that determines the sequence of the resulting protein. The transfer RNA is responsible for bringing the amino acid that will be needed to be assembled into the protein structure. The ribosome, which is an assembly of proteins and the ribosomal RNA, is the machinery that brings the transfer RNA and the messenger RNA in close enough contact so that the peptide bond formation can occur and the nascent peptide can be created. Recall that each tRNA molecule has three nucleotide base pairs called the anticodon that will recognize an hydrogen bond with the codons present in the messenger RNA. Each tRNA is attached to an amino acid at the 3' hydroxyl end. The ribosome enables the messenger RNA to be read within a specific, non-overlapping reading frame. Each messenger RNA has the potential for three different reading frames. One will be chosen as the correct reading frame by the placement of the messenger RNA in the ribosome. Each of the 64 possible codons or triplets of RNA bases encodes for a specific amino acid, all except for three. Three of the codons encode for stop codons and will signify the end of the protein sequence. Note also that there is one typical codon, AUG, that is used as the starting position for translation. Since there are only 20 amino acids that are incorporated into protein sequences, but 64 codons, there is redundancy within the code. Each specific codon is specific for a single amino acid. However, there can be multiple codons that encode for the same amino acid. This is called redundancy. For example, ACU, ACC, ACA, and ACG all encode for the amino acid threonine. Redundancy helps to minimize the effects of mutations in the DNA as mutations can happen that will not change the amino acid being encoded. Redundancy is caused by degeneracy within the code, especially at the wobble position of the codon. We will explore this concept further in the next lecture. Interestingly, if you look at the redundancy within the code, it becomes apparent that the polarity of the amino acids that are encoded for by the different codons has evolved such that the neighboring codons typically encode for amino acids of similar polarity. This likely arose during evolutionary history as mutations will be minimized more often by replacement with similarly charged amino acids. This is less likely to alter the three-dimensional structure of the resulting protein. The genetic code is also highly conserved between different species on the planet. There are very few changes or variations between all of the different life forms. 
The highest diversity is found within mitochondria of animals, as indicated here. This is a strong indicator that the process of evolution has driven the generation of diversity on the planet over millions of years. In the next section, we will explore the structure of the transfer RNA in more detail.